Kimora Lee recently made a surprising revelation regarding the case of Kim Porter's death, which has sparked a renewed interest in reopening the investigation. The circumstances surrounding Kim Porter's demise have taken a complex and tangled turn, prompting her loved ones and close friends to demand a fresh examination of the case. But before we talk about Kimura's revelations, make sure to subscribe to our channel, The Celebrity Circle, for latest updates on this developing story. Kimura Lee, a prominent figure in Porter's social circle, has now spoken out about the situation, shedding new light on the matter. The underlying theme that resonates throughout this story is the eternal question of love. Kimora Lee found herself deeply affected by the passing of Kim Porter, evident in her devastated state when she arrived at Porter's residence on that fateful day. The emotions captured in photos and videos from that time depict Lee's profound grief. In a heartfelt tribute shared on Instagram, Lee expressed her disbelief and anger, initially thinking it was a tasteless prank. She reminisced about rushing to Porter's house with her daughter Oki, urging her to wake up and join them outside. However, the reality soon sank in, and Lee realized that Porter would never come. Kim know all his deepest secrets. Kim probably told all that shit in her book, you understand, that up and got missing the day she died. Recent developments surrounding Kim Porter's case have brought forth a multitude of revelations. Some of Porter's celebrity acquaintances contest the official narrative, questioning the accuracy of the explanation that she succumbed to pneumonia a few days after falling ill. These emerging perspectives challenge the notion that her death resulted solely from pneumonia. As the details continue to unfold, the truth behind Kim Porter's untimely demise promises to be a compelling and thought-provoking tale. Stay tuned as we delve deeper into the evolving narrative surrounding this perplexing case. One particularly notable aspect involves the deputy coroner, Ed Winter, who recently passed away. Winter had initially handled the case and discovered a suspicious toxin while investigating the circumstances surrounding Porter's death. His inclination that further investigation was warranted set the stage for a deeper examination. However, Winter was subsequently replaced by another coroner, and it took an extended period for the second coroner to ultimately attribute Porter's passing to pneumonia. All that was propaganda, man. You know what I'm saying? Puff did what he normally do. He gonna make the people, whatever, you know, goes for the people heart and what they feel. You gotta look at the dude actions, man. However, there's more to the story. Insights from friends and family members have shed light on events leading up to Porter's demise. In the days preceding her death, Porter had been trying persistently to contact her primary doctor, sensing that something was amiss. Curiously, she couldn't reach her doctor, which struck her as unusual since she had never experienced difficulty reaching out before. Frustrated by the situation, Porter shared her concerns with Diddy, who then referred her to an alternate physician. Adding another layer of intrigue to the story, a peculiar incident occurred around the same time. According to Kimora, Diddy made a statement suggesting that Kim Porter had sent their twins to him because she didn't want them to receive the flu shot. Allegedly, three days prior to her passing, Porter was unwell and had the flu. Concerned about the children's well-being, she sent them to Diddy's house to ensure they wouldn't catch the illness. During a conversation with Diddy, Porter expressed her heartfelt plea for him to take care of their precious babies. These words held significance as they were among her final sentiments before her demise. However, reliable sources reveal an intriguing twist to this narrative. The twins reportedly disclosed to two of Kim's girlfriends that they were already scheduled to spend time with their father, and it was purely coincidental that their mother happened to be feeling unwell at the time. This conflicting information casts doubt on Diddy's account of Kim sending the kids to him without prior planning. Stay tuned for more compelling updates as the story unfolds, and make sure to subscribe to The Celebrity Circle to stay up to date on latest celebrity drama. See, I could say that because I used to see them in action with other couples and other people. You understand what I'm saying? I was told to watch the door. Kim knew all his deepest secrets, bruh. It has come to light that Kimora took matters into her own hands and reached out to her primary doctor. Astonishingly, the doctor claimed to have never received a call from Kim and was unaware of her illness. 
This baffling revelation points towards a sinister possibility that someone may have intercepted Kim's attempts to contact her doctor, effectively blocking her communication in advance. The question arises, who could have tampered with her access to medical help? But hold on tight because the story takes an even wilder turn. According to Kimura, the night before her passing, Kim sent distressing texts to a select few confidants, proclaiming, he got me. What's more, she hinted at the alarming notion of being poisoned. Such a notion is no stranger to Hollywood, where nefarious poisons capable of mimicking heart attacks and pneumonia-like symptoms have been rumored to exist. Kim died from pneumonia, but there's the first coroner's report that said that she died. It, it was ruled a homicide and they found toxins in her body to prove that she had been poisoned. You know, they, they have poisons that create heart attack and pneumonia-like symptoms. In the midst of this unfolding drama, Diddy himself enters the spotlight. When he arrived at Kim Porter's residence with his security team, it is alleged that her phone was confiscated. One of her friends even confronted Diddy, questioning his preoccupation with the phone while Kim had just passed away. Doubts and suspicions among Kim Porter's friends have intensified due to discrepancies surrounding the circumstances of her death. They find it perplexing that the official report attributes her passing to pneumonia, claiming she peacefully died in her sleep. However, certain details raise red flags. Blood was discovered on Kim's pillowcases, and a faint trail led from the bedroom floor to the bathroom. Contrary to the initial narrative, Kim was not found unresponsive in her bed but rather on the bathroom floor. These inconsistencies fuel speculation that she may have been deliberately placed in bed to create a misleading scene. While it is unclear if Kimora Lee was the friend disclosing this information, given her close friendship with Kim, it is reasonable to assume she also had questions regarding the circumstances. Considering Diddy's history with women, including infidelity during Kim's pregnancy and alleged emotional, verbal, and physical mistreatment, the notion of reopening the case and pursuing a wrongful death lawsuit seems plausible. The potential motive behind such actions becomes increasingly intriguing as we delve deeper into the intricate dynamics of this compelling narrative. Jean Deal confirmed the allegations of abuse, stating that Diddy not only broke Kim's nose, disguising it as plastic surgery, but also recalled an incident where she lit his wrist during a fight to defend herself. It's an incident that him and Kim had when she took the court screw when they were fighting, you know, and ripped his whole wrist up. Another of Diddy's exes, Gina, also came forward to expose the severe mistreatment she endured while in a relationship with him. Gina detailed instances of mental, emotional, and physical abuse, recounting how Diddy even threw her heel and forcefully pushed her face, causing her nose to bleed. Additionally, she shared the heartbreaking experience of having to terminate multiple pregnancies, which she confided in Diddy, only to be offered money to dispose off them. Well, I told him. I just loved him. Explosive revelations about Kim Porter are set to be unveiled in a book, eagerly anticipated by her family and friends. However, Diddy's influence has prevented its release, applying pressure to everyone involved in the publication process. The book delves into shocking details, including Kim's unwavering devotion to Diddy and her efforts to shield him from certain encounters. Moreover, it also discusses alleged orchestrated schemes to eliminate Tupac's stances of mistreatment, such as surveillance of Kim's home, tapped phone lines, and the employment of personnel to monitor her. Additionally, it touches upon Diddy's desire for full custody of their twins, countered by Kim's threat to expose him, and it hints at potential illicit activities and Diddy's alleged involvement in clandestine dealings. These distressing accounts shed light on the extensive harm inflicted upon Diddy's former partners, reinforcing the urgency for a thorough investigation. It is understandable why Kim's friends, like Kimura, insist on reopening the case to delve deeper into the truth. The accumulated evidence of Diddy's alleged abusive behavior and manipulation heightens the significance of pursuing justice for Kim Porter's untimely passing. Several of her friends and co-workers took their Instagram handles to express their feelings. One of her friends, Chanina Foster stated, I haven't slept because I can't stop thinking about you. To know Kim was to know you, a bond and a sisterhood like no other. The echo of you screaming my name and your hurt won't allow the tears to stop in my eyes. So what do you think? 
Do you believe Kim really died of sickness or it's something that's all planned by Diddy? Share your thoughts in the comments section and don't forget to subscribe to the Celebrity Circle for more interesting videos. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in our next video.